Hi all, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today. I'm tying a Rutland Sparkler, sometimes called the Abortion Sparkler. Um, it's a black version. It's a really, really good fly. Um, it works well in the big reservoirs, it works well in the hill lochs for stocked and wild fish. It's, it's a very productive fly. Um, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel get access to the members only content the monthly zoom sessions and be entered into the giveaways you can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos that's all appreciated so I've got my hook and my vice it's a size 10 uh, Kamazan B175 um, now People will also tie these on doubles, like this, uh, it's a B270 size 12, it's a good sort of, if you're using it as a point fly it's a good anchor, you've got the extra weight of the shoulder holding the, the, double, the double together, it just sort of anchors your team, um, but you know if you don't catch and release you probably don't want to be fishing a double. So the single's a good choice too. Now I'm going to get this. This is um, it's the Dave Downey uh, flash, and this is gold, silver, and pearl. All right, it's uh, just the DA collection. It's called Definite Advantage. Really nice sparkler mix. Um, I'm going to get myself a reasonable chunk, right? If I twist it up, it's maybe half a pencil. Just got a layer of thread on the shank. And then I'll offer this in. couple of turns and that's roughly my tail length there right um, now I'm not going to fish this in any competitions so I know that first it's probably just about size anyway but I like it if it's a wee bit uneven now I'm going to cut this, some people like to just tie along and fold it back, but I'm no keen in that, um, I don't like the way the body turns out, so I just cut it, and when you're using this really soft flash, it will not pull out anyway, um, it compresses really well, even at the head, uh, Get that locked in. Now, this is a tough little fly, it'll last forever until you lose it, really. Um, but what they catch fish, hey, they're, they're, they're really good on a fast sinking line, you know, just they're a great searching pattern. So, I'm going to just strip some. 6mm frets, just strip the core a wee bit, tie it in, come up to the front and leave yourself a decent space, right, this fly you don't need to put a t tiny wee head on it, um, I mean, this is the one I tied there before, quite a, quite a decent head. So I've left about four, four or five mil there. I'm just going to wind this and I'm just going to sweep it back with every turn. I like to make sure I get plenty of frets on. 
And this is just like an ordinary black frets, it's uh, got the wee bits of pearl, there's, there's no translucent or nothing. When I get to my tie in point, cross that with the thread, the second turn, and I'll lift up my frets two turns in front, and I'll just repeat that. That's it locked in nice and secure. Tie that away. Now, at this stage, I like to just tidy everything up. And this is, I think this is probably quite important. If you're having issues with your tinsel pulling out or whatever, it's probably because you've not tidied this up properly and you're not tying on a nice bed. Right, if you if you get everything prepared properly to accept the material, this will this stuff will stay in, right? Wax. No. Right, make sure my thread's right back at the start of the body. I'm going to offer this in, let it be slightly long, I've got to trim it at the end. And I'll just pinch it in. Just make sure your loop goes right in at the back there. And that's nice and tight. Now I'm going to come in, trim this at an angle. Serrated scissors are a good idea. So that then. I'm going to come to the front and tie up into the ends. So rather than like I'm not just squashing a bunch, I'm like catching individual fibres. And it gives you a, a nice strong hold. It's just a case of sort of shaping that. You know, although it's a although it's a quite a big head, if you shape it, it still can look quite nice. I'm happy with that. What finish? And again. Come in and just trim that. Curve the scissors as, as I trim it, and it will make it slightly uneven, so that they can kind of move a bit better. We just take a wee bit for that, and there you go. I mean, it's it's an easy flight to tie. Got a couple of coats of varnish on the head, and. If you're fishing open water and there's no any snags to lose it, you can catch a hundred, a hundred fish in this, and it'll still be more or less exactly as it looks at the moment. It's, it's a very durable, very very effective pattern. Um, as I say, it's good for it is good for catching stock fish in the reservoirs, but don't think a wild brown trout will not eat this. It's, it certainly will. Um, with gusto, especially towards the back end. So, there you go. I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines, guys. Bye.